Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and welcome to Plants and Tings. So in today's video, I'm finally going to be making these Coco Coir planks. Like I've been talking about making these planks for like the past month and a half in every video and I just keep delaying it. And I guess I was just delaying it because in my mind, I feel like this is going to be a large project. It's going to take time, a lot of cleanup, and I'm just, I just want it to be done without me having to go through the process of getting it done. You know what I mean? Like I just want it to be done, but I have to actually do it. So I just delayed it and you know, the supplies, the cost a bit of money, not expensive. I think I spent total like 80 or $90 on all the supplies and you know, I'm cheap. So I just kept delaying like, oh, I can use that money for something else, but I really need to get this done so i'm gonna do it make the planks for these plants that i've been talking about forever and um i decided to go with coco coir planks because i don't like moss poles or moss planks because i don't like keeping i don't like maintaining the moss i don't like re-wetting it keeping it moist i don't like that it attracts fungus gnats like i just don't like anything about moss situation just like i don't like soil <laughs> so I just didn't want to deal with that. The Coco Core poles that come pre-made, they're okay, but I don't know. I just wasn't feeling like the plant was attaching well or would attach well. I know that they do work, but I just wasn't happy with my experience with them. And plus, usually the stake that they come on is so thick that it's hard to get it in a potted plant that I already have, you know, unless I'm repotting the plant. So I just wasn't happy with it. So I was like, I'm going to just make my own thing. I have seen this made before. If I can find a link to a video of either a tutorial or something that I've seen, I don't even, honestly, I don't even think I've ever watched a tutorial and I've just seen someone have it on their channel and be like, ooh, I think I can figure out how to make that. So we're gonna try. I'm gonna do a like <laughs> trial run off camera so that, you know, once I like get it down pat, then I'll show it to you guys. But yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. I have some other plants that I'd like to repot as well. I don't know if I'm going to get to that, but I would like to get everything done today. I'm just trying to get ready for spring, you know, like spring is coming. I want to prepare my plants for spring. I want to just set them up for success for spring, you know. So if I could just get this all done today, it would be great. And I don't have to worry about it until like summer, fall. So that's the plan. We'll see how far we get. Um, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing if this is your first time here thank you for clicking on this video i really appreciate it again please consider subscribing if you like the video please press the like button it helps other people who might you know like this content to see it as well so keep on watching and thank you so i'm actually re-recording this tutorial part of the video because as i was editing and watching it back i realized how uninformative <laughs> my the first take was so i'm just gonna redo it make it more informative so you guys have all the information you need and yeah so let's get into it so first i'm just going to show you everything you need to do this little trellis slash stake slash plank project and first what i use is bamboo sticks here um, I'll show like pictures of the original packaging if I can. I've got most of everything online except for these bamboo sticks. I just went to Home Depot and it came in a pack of like five or six for like five dollars. I'll list the price of everything either on the screen or in the description. Um, then I got a roll of Coco Coir, a sheet of it. I got two rolls of these actually, but I probably don't need to, but I got two just in case. This is from Amazon. And then I got also, I had to go to the store to find this because I ordered the wrong thing on Amazon. This like heavy duty plastic netting. Um, again, I'll try to find a picture and put it online. I mean, on the screen. And then zip ties. You do not need <laughs> all of these zip ties. But I've just bought a variety pack because I didn't know what I needed since it was my first time doing the project. The size that I used was this size here. If you'd like to know the size, this is the size that I used. This worked well because it was still pretty discreet um, when like weaving it through. So I liked that. It wasn't too bulky. So this is the size that I use. But I <laughs> ordered all of these from Amazon as a variety pack. So I didn't know what to do. I wanted to be prepared. And then of course, your vessel that you're going to be using you guys know i'm obsessed with glass containers so i have mine here and 99 cents from goodwill um and basically you just want this so that you know you know how wide 
to make oh gosh this is so tall <laughs> you know how wide to make your steak so that's what i use this in reference for so what i'm gonna do is the plant that i have this in mind for is a wide form anisoni that is starting off as a bunch of one leaf cutting so it really doesn't need to be too large and can i make it out of these two let's see if i cut this in half half is about here which would mean that it really doesn't give me that much length. Hmm. And this for some strange, I think these are from two different packs of bamboo sticks. I don't know why this is so skinny. I'm gonna start off with this fresh one because I'm trying to think how tall I want my bamboo. Because remember, once you put this inside of here, you're, you're only gonna want your plank to start about here. You don't want the, the um, length of the plank to be all the way in the substrate. I mean, I guess it can, it probably won't be a problem, but to me, that's a waste. So I would only start it up about here. So the height that I want it to be is about here. Yeah, so from there you just kind of eyeball it, the length that you want it to be. When you're cutting bamboo steaks, this is not that sharp. <laughs> Even if you are using something sharp, you wanna try to do it as quickly as possible so that it doesn't split like that, but it did. So what I'm gonna do is leave this on the top. I won't put this part in the soil just in case like, I don't know, stuff gets in there. So same thing in this, then you just mash it up. Let's see, try to see if I cannot do that again. Sometimes it works better if I do it in a little notch. Oops. <laughs> okay. Mia, leave it alone. Don't touch it. Thank you. You're such a good girl. All right. Now that you have your two sticks, what you need to do next is measure the width that you want your cocoa coir plank to be. Um, you can either actually measure it, but me, I just eyeball everything. <laughs> I literally just eyeball everything. So this would be too wide, which would be perfect. Darn, now what I'm gonna end up with is a skinny strip that I can't even use. I hate that, I hate to waste. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to waste, dang it. All right, because <clears throat> what I'm thinking, this is just what I do. I'm pretty sure there's an easier way to do this, but this is what I did in order to measure it because I'm probably just, oh, I can make two out of this. Okay, that makes me feel better. It makes me feel like I'm gonna be less, less, <laughs> less <laughs> wasteful. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. And we don't need it to be this long. So we'll stop it at about here. All right, I forgot a marker. You're gonna need a marker. I'll be back. All right, so I got my marker. And yeah, so I'm gonna say that I want it to come at about down to here, and I want it to be like halfway. You should probably use a ruler. I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna eyeball it and think, let's use this like that. And I just want it to be like half the width of this. So. What I'm gonna do is use this as my line, like that. And then we cut it up. Oh, don't tell me how to, oh, I did bring my scissors. <laughs> see if I can be any more prepared. So we can make two steaks out of this, which is good. I'm all about expanding resources. I do not like to waste, so. I did not want to end up with a little skinny piece. Just cut up your cocoa coir. This is actually kind of tall. I don't know if I needed to make it this tall, seeing as the plant. <laughs> ah, I just realized it didn't need to be this tall, but that's okay. No worries. No worries. No worries. Put that aside. All right. So this is the base for our plank. The only thing we need now is the support of this netting here. And all I do is use this as my new base. And again, 
try not to be wasteful try to use every little piece and that ends up being a little short so we're gonna have to go long ways but it looks like this part is longer so when you line this up <clears throat> excuse me this cannot be used you know so this edge you, you need this edge here so and you need this edge here but you see it's a little skinnier than that so what i'm gonna try to do it's a little skinnier than the three boxes if you try to um if, if you cut it here and you you try to loop the zip ties around here it's gonna bunch up and look stupid so i'm only gonna use up to here so that when we put the zip ties we can loop it through and it won't get bunched so we need that much and we need this much all right this part is easy to cut because it really doesn't matter where you cut it at as long as you're on the right side i hope i'm explaining that properly because if we would have cut on the opposite side we would have had excess and we would have wasted you know we don't like to waste <laughs> mia it's okay line that up You'd rather it be a little bit okay yeah that's perfect all right good Now, to attach it, I attach it usually before I cut the excess because then I know I'm not cutting something that I might need. So, leave it alone, Mia. This is like right to the edge, but we can make this work, it's okay. So, I usually attach the bamboo stake at the same time. So, I just line up these edges like so and use your zip tie to do one edge at a time once you have this lined up it's super easy so I'm not gonna loop it through like this because if I loop it through like this around the edge it might end up show it to you but it might end up bunching this corner when it could look a little neater if I just bring it back through on the other side next to the stake like so Good. so just line it up and tighten it up Good. So you see it looks neater now rather than the whole edge being bunched or over. Same thing on the other end. Just kind of stabilize it before we do the other one. So because this is kind of tall, after I put the other one, I'm gonna secure another zip tie in the center. And that's really it, guys. Like, it's super, super simple. I don't know why I was, well, I know why. I was, like, procrastinating doing this project for so long because I thought it's gonna be such a huge project. I don't wanna do it. Like, I wanna do it, but I don't, <laughs> I don't feel like doing it, but I want it to be done. But and it did end up actually being a big project, but not because this was the big project, just because the actual repotting of everything was the big project. But it has to be done. I'm happy I did it. And I hope you guys find it helpful. I hope you like the process. A few of you guys did already ask, you know, how did you make that steak? So then I was like, I really gotta make sure, like that it actually is a good tutorial, not what I was, I don't know what I was doing before. I was just doing a show and tell, it was not a tutorial. So I hope this is helpful for you guys. Thank you.
go. So that's the base. And what I like to do, because this is a little tall, it's probably fine and secure, but I don't know. I just like to secure it one more time here. Like, I probably would not have put it this low, but it's Coco Core. It's fine. It's not going to harm the plant or anything like that. And that's it. Put your plant in it. Voila. Okay, so I am back and I made all of my planks. There are like two plants that I didn't make plant planks for because they're a bit larger and I just didn't feel that I was going to have the energy <laughs> to repot those today. It's already 8 o'clock. We've moved to my kitchen because I need more space. So... I made the little planks, they all came out so good. I just measured them based on the opening, you know, how wide to make it. Um, this little one here is for the stable blue. I think this pot is a lot larger than what this plant needs, so I'm hoping that it's gonna be okay in this little glass container with this little stake. Um, this syngonium is gonna fall. This syngonium did not need this tall of a plank, however, I didn't want to keep chopping the um, bamboo steaks into little pieces so this was already available like as a piece left over and I didn't want to chop it more so I said you know what it's gonna be fine it's just gonna not gonna need a new steak for a long time so I'm gonna put it in this glass container and as the planks got taller I realized I definitely needed that second um, set of ties on the back there to kind of stabilize it, but I think they came out pretty good. This taller one also is for my Arapidophora, not Decursiva, Tetrasperma. I do have a Decursiva that I want to stake, but I'm a little confused about Decursivas. I know, I don't know. I feel like it wants to crawl, but I feel like I've seen people have them climb and I don't know, can it do both? Like, it just seems, this is gonna be in this one for the Rapid Four. It just seems like it's already pushing out three new leaves at one time. And I don't know, I wanna stake it, but I'd have to literally take it out, turn it sideways. Like, it just, I don't know. I have to think about that a little bit longer, do a little more research. So these are the ones that I'm gonna be potting up for today. So what I'm gonna do is put a drain hole in all of these containers first, and then I'll come back and pot them up with you guys. So I don't think, I actually don't think I've ever showed you guys me putting the drain holes in them because I recorded a video probably a month ago now of like plant chores, but I was getting bored watching it back myself. So I was like, I can't put this out. This is boring. Like if I'm bored, y'all gonna be bored. So I didn't put it out. <laughs> but in that video, I showed me doing the drain holes. So maybe I'll put a clip either from that video or I'll just show you guys in this video me inserting a um, drilling a drain hole in it so that you can at least have an idea of what it's gonna be like so yeah i'll come back when i'm done with that part okay, so just in case you guys want to know like what i'm doing let me explain that first before i start um i got this bit <clears throat> excuse me to fit this drill 
this is a I just asked the guy in um, Home Depot because you know I wanted to make sure I got the right thing it's called a diamond max fit and it's for specifically for porcelain granite stone tile and glass Ooh, they're under my nail so that's what I got which is here and I got this size because I'm using pawn if I was using Leka, I probably would get a bigger size, but I'm using pawn, so I wanted it to be small enough not to really allow the pawn to fall through. And I'm just wetting the area. This is not a tutorial. This is my first time doing it, kind of like second time after my practice run. And I'm just gonna put the whole, like a third of the way up, so somewhere around here, so that there's this much of a reservoir at the bottom. And that's it. That's what I'm doing and you're supposed to kind of like hold it at a um i don't know if you guys can see this i hope you can but you hold it at a 45 degree angle first to make the divot and then as it starts to go through then you come up on your 90 degree angle so that's what i'm going to do be careful be safe wear safety glasses all that good stuff Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go now, let me do That's why I'm mine, spend my life with you I wanna please you, anywhere I can I wanna share my world, don't you understand? Finally to the repotting portion of this process. It's been a long day. Not really because of the potting, because that doesn't really take that much time. Doing this actual process of potting all this stuff is not what took a lot of time. I don't even have my pond. Hold on. I'm stuck in this little container because my potting mat is not here yet. I ordered a potting mat and it didn't make it here yet. So we're still restricted to this little container. But yeah, it's been a long day for me. Um, and I just realized I'm going to have to wash all these roots off. So these are a couple different plants. Interesting. And it has some new root growth, which is good. These little white roots. I always forget in this process that what is this? What is this? <laughs> uh, I don't know what that is. I always forget that I need to actually go ahead and rinse the roots off and I start filming and I'll be like, oh yeah, I'm ready to pot. Forgetting that, oh, I gotta look at all these new roots though. Look how good it's doing. Okay, and as I uh, thought, that pot was just a little much. This isn't even rooted and it doesn't have any leaves on it. Should I keep this? I don't know, but this is good no roots it's like someone took a bunch of cuttings and potted them up some of them took some of them didn't yet i mean it's very possible but this one has a new leaf so all right let me go rinse these roots i'm actually i'm gonna rinse the roots of all the plants first and then come back because so let's just empty everything out let's do that let's empty everything out and inspect the roots this is the manjula Ooh, she looks good very nice roots lovely I'm just trying to get as much soil off as possible so I don't run a lot of soil down my drain you know what I'm saying this looks like it's separate but I'm gonna leave it bunched together I'm gonna rinse these all out they look so good I'm excited about this because I know oh okay it's okay oh it's okay Oh, okay. <laughs> Roots just kept coming off. That's that. Next is my Pathos and Joy. This is clearly one cutting, but let's see what the roots is looking like. Okay, okay, very good. This soil, as I thought, is so condensed and like, what is that? My biggest fear with soil, especially someone else's soil plant, 
is finding a worm in it. I freaking hate worms, okay? I, oh my God, my skin is freaking crawling. I'd rather a spider any day over a worm. I don't know what it is about worms, but I just can't take it. I cannot take it. And sometimes when I see roots like coming out of the bottom of pots and stuff, it really, like it really kind of creeps me out. Look how dense this soil is. It's almost muddy. Maybe not fresh white roots. The roots that like stick out of the pot or like show like little worms at the bottom of the pot. Like I just can't take it. And I think it's because I had a, we, our first, very first dog we had, his name was Sunny. I know the story has nothing to do with anything, I'm sorry. But um, we had a dog, our very first dog, Sonny. He was a black lab German Shepherd mix. We got him as a puppy from the ASPCA. And we took him home, Daisy wormed him and did all his stuff for him. But um, we took him to the vet, I think, or they gave him the deworming stuff. And what came out of him after that was the most disgusting it looked literally like not like this obviously because it's black but the white i'm not going to describe it because my stomach starts to hurt but that image is so stuck in my mind that when i see white roots like a lot of them kind of wormed up like that it just reminds me of that and it's just so freaking disgusting i'm sorry for that visual yeah, look how many roots though this one cutting has though like Let's talk about that. All right, and that's pretty much it. The other thing, my, oops, my Raphidophora already clean because it's in water, but look at these new roots here. It came with these skinny ones, but look at this thick. I'm trying to move this out the way. Look at this thick new root here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's that mean when I got, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, let me wash these roots off so we can just get this over with. Yes. Okay, so I'm just gonna soak the roots for a bit while I work on each plant in a little water and hydrogen, hydro, hydrogen, where is it? Oh, the rafter four, okay. I thought I was doing five plants. One, two, three, four. I made five steaks. Oh no, I only made four. One, two, three, four. Oh, hmm. I don't know why I thought I was doing five plants. Okay, whatever. But yeah, I'm just gonna soak these while I get everything together. This isn't gonna fit, it's okay. All right, so let's do the easy one first. The Raffidophora. This is the easy one. Now this is gonna be in, ah! <laughs> I believe I said I was gonna put it in this container here. I hope I have the right containers and the right stakes. Cause I done separated everything. Yeah, this looks about right. Baby, you don't this know right. what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now. I'm 
there was one more plan I am I'm so annoyed <laughs> I literally cleaned everything up I wiped the counters down I cleaned this all out because I like to like clean as I go because I hate a huge cleanup at the end of the filming so I literally cleaned everything up only to find this plant sitting off to the side <sighs> I just said you know what I'm just gonna do it Why I try to keep these feelings to myself Now you're the one I'm thinking of My higher grandma I get love For gravity I'd rather stay up here Even though I'm tired, this actually looks really cute So I'm happy I did it Alright, I'm gonna clean up one more time And then we're actually gonna pin all these plants to the stage I'm sorry if my energy has dropped completely by the end of this video, but I'm tired. <laughs> like, I'm tired. So what I'm using, I'm using a combination of things, whatever I think is gonna be the best. I have some bobby pins, I have some zip ties, and I have some plant Velcro ties. So right now, <laughs> with the way that I'm feeling, I'm gonna just use bobby pins unless it's really not working, then I'll use something else. I'll use, I would prefer actually to use the zip ties, but I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. So unless it's like really not seeming secure, which this seems to work for right now, what I'm doing is just bobby pinning it against into the, um, Cocoa core, and then I'm twisting it in the back here. So pulling it tighter and then twisting it if I can. Twisting it like how I twisted this one. This isn't like actual good body bend, that's why I can't really twist it. Let's find a cheap one. All these are actually good. Wow, I have really good body bends. <laughs> if you know, you know. So what that means is I'm not gonna be able to be lazy and use bobby pins because I have good bobby pins that aren't just gonna bend. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to use zip ties. It's okay, it's okay. We're gonna get through this, we're gonna accomplish this, we're gonna finish this, and we're never gonna do this again. We're never going to do so much and take on so much in one day. 
you know what it was? It was the amount of plants. It wasn't the task at hand. It was the amount of plants is what really exhausted me. All right, so what I like about doing the zip ties is that you can tighten it, but not, you don't want to do it too tight. You, know, you just want it to be, if you can see, you just want it to be flush against there. So this is flush. I wanted this to be up there too, but maybe I'll bend it back over, I don't know. All right, fifth mystery plant done or forgotten about plant that I forgot existed because it was sitting off to the side. But it's okay. finished making the stakes, potting the plants, and staking the plants. This was a lot. I don't know why I did this to myself, and there was more plants that I wanted to do this with, larger plants. I'm so glad I said, you know what, Lauren, that's a lot, because this was a lot. Um, but yeah, I, even though it was exhausting, I'm really happy with it. This sable blue, even though it's so like dainty and kind of straggly, it looks really cute with the three coming down, the two coming up. Like that's going to look so nice when this starts to fill out more. I'm really excited for this cute little thing. Um, the enjoy, there was only, this is only a one vine cutting in this plant so this one was pretty easy to just attach with the zip ties i decided to go with the zip ties because it just seemed more secure um the bobby pins which is what i really wanted to do because i was tired um just wasn't securing as you as you saw earlier um and then i had the velcro which i used it previously with stakes um for my other plants my imports but i feel like for this I would have to use so much to wrap it around the whole width of it. It just didn't make sense. So I just used the zip ties. It worked the easiest. This one I'm gonna have to go back and readjust because there's one more vine that I'd like to attach, but it has a, you probably can't see it. Oh, right here, it has this new leaf coming out and I don't wanna press that up against the cocoa core plank. So but look at this, how pretty this is. So for what I like to do with trailing or climbing plants is to kind of have a double effect of trailing down and climbing up of a waterfall, I call it. So that's what I'm doing with a few of these plants. Although this was a huge task. Um, oh, and then my Raffidophora. I, this one looks silly. I'm gonna have to redo it. Um, I'm gonna have to retie it at some point once the leaves kind of adjust themselves. The way these Raffidophora stems are, they're super rigid. And so it's really hard to get the whole thing on the plank. That's why I only put the newest part up there. Um, maybe I can get more of it on, but <clears throat> excuse me, the way the leaves are, I have to wait until it readjusts itself, then I'll be able to better put it up on there. But this is the only one that was kind of not successful. <laughs> All the other ones look really good. But yeah, overall, I really am happy with the way everything turned out. If you've made it to the end, you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry, my energy just kind of like drained <laughs> out like towards the end. I'm just, I think it's nine, almost 10 o'clock. I'm tired. But thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you're subscribed to my channel, thank you for subscribing. If you like this video, please press the like button. Uh, and let me know in the comments below, do you stake some of your plants? How do you stake your plants? What is your favorite way to stake your plants? This is something new for me, trying the making these planks. Um, I, like I mentioned earlier, I'm, I hate moss, so this is why I ventured into this. And let me know if this is something you think you would like to try or what kind of spin you would put on it to make it work best for you. And yeah, thank you and have a good night.